A new analysis of ancient genomes is deepening scientists' understanding of the Neanderthal DNA carried by human populations in Europe and Asia genetic traces that may have medical relevance today. Published in the journal Science Advances, this groundbreaking study tracks the genetic legacy of our archaic relatives, the Neanderthals, with unprecedented precision thanks to a critical mass of invaluable data. Most humans alive today can trace a very small percentage of their DNA to Neanderthals, a result of prehistoric sexual encounters between our ancestors and the now extinct Stone Age hominins before their disappearance around 40,000 years ago. However, there's a puzzling discrepancy. Neanderthal DNA is slightly more abundant in the genomes of East Asian populations. This enigma has long confounded scientists because Neanderthal remains have been found extensively across Europe and the Middle East, but not further east of the Altai Mountains in Central Asia. How can an area with no known Neanderthal remains have more Neanderthal DNA? This question has driven the curiosity of researchers for years. On average, Neanderthal DNA accounts for about 2% of the genetic makeup of people in Eurasia. However, in East Asia, this proportion can be as high as 4%. To explain this inconsistency, Matthias Curret, a senior lecturer of genetics and evolution at the University of Geneva, and his colleagues embarked on a comprehensive analysis of the distribution of Neanderthal DNA in the genomes of humans over the past 40,000 years. The wealth of data they utilized came from a database of more than 4,000 ancient genomes from across Europe and Asia. This database was collected by a team led by Dr. David Reich, a professor of genetics and human evolutionary biology at Harvard Medical School in Boston. The researchers' findings unveiled a fascinating aspect of our genetic history. They discovered that the distribution of Neanderthal DNA hasn't always looked as it does now. By examining the genetic makeup of Stone Age Homo sapiens, who lived as hunter-gatherers in Europe after the Neanderthal's extinction, they found a slightly higher proportion of Neanderthal DNA in these individuals compared to their counterparts in Asia, especially for samples older than 20,000 years. The study's intriguing conclusion is that the current pattern of a higher percentage of Neanderthal ancestry in Asian populations, compared with those in Europe, must have developed at a later stage in our history. This significant shift likely took place during the Neolithic transition, when farming began to replace hunting and gathering as a way of life around 10,000 to 5,000 years ago. During this pivotal period, the first farmers from Anatolia, in what's now Western Turkey and the Aegean, began to interact with existing hunter-gatherer populations in Western and Northern Europe. This interaction led to a lower proportion of Neanderthal DNA observed in European genomes during the Neolithic era. In Kurt's words, the thing was that they had less Neanderthal ancestry, so they diluted the Neanderthal ancestry in European populations. Nevertheless, the transition in Asia remains a bit shrouded due to a relative lack of information. The study included 1,517 samples from Europe compared to 11.8 from Asia, an area more than four times as large. The significance of this research extends far beyond mere historical curiosity. Tony Capra, an associate professor of epidemiology and biostatistics at the University of California, San Francisco, lauds the paper as an example of a very exciting and promising strategy for integrating the analysis of ancient human DNA from different geographic locations with modern genomes. Such studies provide vital insights into the complex web of human evolution. As the mysteries of our shared past continue to unravel, one can't help but wonder what other secrets are encoded within our DNA waiting to be discovered. With each new revelation, the question that lingers is how this ancient genetic legacy impacts us today and what it might reveal about our future. The enigma of Neanderthal DNA leaves us pondering the depths of our genetic history and its influence on our lives. What else lies hidden in our shared genetic tapestry, and what might it mean for the generations to come?